I'm Tim McHenry. I direct programs and engagement here at the Rubin. And uh, this is an exciting night because we are about to witness a US premiere of a film from Bhutan. And to introduce this evening, may I welcome to the front of the stage my good colleague Tashi Children, who heads the Himalayan cultural programs here at the Rubin. Tashi, thank you so much for organizing tonight. Welcome to the Himalayan Heritage here at the Rubin Museum. And tonight, uh, the US premiere of Kushitara. It's a really honor for me and very thrilled to introduce the film, which is a US premiere, and it's directed by the first female uh, producer and director, Karma Dickey, you know, first female director from Bhutan, and then um, Emerus Cooper, who is the first Western actor um, in the Bhutanese film. Um, he's the lead actor, uh, Western actor. And then we have the first female um, ambassador, Kesan Namgyal, here in the audience as well. And all three of them will be up on the stage after the movie. The film industry in Bhutan is a growing one. I don't think we have a long history. It's been about, I think, a little less than 20 years since we've had the first film on, uh, made in Bhutan by a uh, pioneer of the film was then Mr. Ugin Wangdi, who made this Gasala Misinghe. I don't know if you've heard about it, but that was the first Bhutanese film, and that was the start of the film industry in Bhutan. And over the years, the film industry has grown both in technical expertise as well as the, in terms of volume. We have seen that there is a distinct character of the Bhutanese film industry. I think a lot of it is to do with our own culture and tradition. The themes of the films are always to do with lifestyles in the villages. And I think we can all relate to what was shown in the film. I mean, all of us have lived through that through generations, especially the older generations have seen a lot of it. You all must have heard about the uh, development philosophy of Bhutan is gross national happiness. And this has emanated from, uh, from our kings. And truly, it, it's a living, it's something that uh, development brought to the grassroots level. Happiness is the ultimate goal. And the government requires to create the conditions to create that happiness. And there are four pillars. And one of the pillars is culture and tradition. A lot of our film is to do with that, and it showcases Bhutanese culture, tradition, and also it's a platform where we can showcase that. And there is a lot of support from the government, right from His Majesty the King, to support the film industry. The concept of this Kishutara, uh, it was there since my childhood, because my mom is a weaver, and this is the place that uh, we shot uh, the whole entire film, uh, in my mom's village. So yes, I, I learned uh, how to weave from my mom, like from the thread to the, the dress in a complete set. I did learn from my mom. So I do have all this uh, touch and experiences that how a woman feel when she weaves. And then every uh, complete, um, you know, like uh, a dress is always a dream that we want to wear on a special occasion. Like wedding dress is more stronger than you know, like just wearing it for the festivals because this is from the one that you love, and it's going to be there for a lifetime. Yes, thank you. I just want to say this has been um, a dream come true. I'm just so touched. What an amazing venue to have this film. It's been a real labor of um, love, and I'm just so honored that I got to go to Bhutan. It changed my life. I went there and. You know, I had the chaos of LA, and my principles and values might have been in the wrong place. And I just got to see what simple things were, their core values that they have preserved, and that, that really touched my life forever. And I think that um, I'm just grateful and honored that I've been part of this adventure, and I'm really grateful that you all came out tonight. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you. By the way, our film will be released in 150 countries on Friday. Give a big hand. If you have a question, please raise your hand 
Our staffs on either side will hand you the mic. Um, wait for the mic. This is a question for Ms. Decky. Um, when did you first know you wanted to make movies? And how did you go about realizing that dream in Bhutan? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Uh, yes, I, uh, I mean, uh, since my uh, childhood in the school, like I used to participate in many activities and in, in dramas. So that inspired me to uh, a dream, you know, like on the big screen. And right after the school, like I got a chance to act. So I, I started my career as an actress in the film industry. So from there, like actress uh, lifespans is very short. I mean, uh, especially in the Asian, the the audience likes to watch, you know, younger uh, women. I mean, <laughs> when you age up, like you should know that well. okay, you're going to expire. So then, uh, then I uh, took um, you know like uh, technical positions. So uh, that's how I became a filmmaker. Thank you. So we have question for um, time for one more question. My question is for Emerus, and I suppose I'm curious as to how making this film has changed your opinion of karmic love. <laughs> oh. um, I have to say, I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic, and I do. Um, I. I'm very optimistic in people. Like I always, I've always been that way, and I do believe in karma. And I think this movie and this experience confirmed my belief in it. And I have to say, whilst filming this movie, a lot of the things I was going through were a parallel to my own life. And I think this movie shows that sometimes you have to sacrifice stuff for love and compromise. The answer is, yeah, I do believe in love, and I believe in karmic reincarnation. 100%. Yeah. Thank you. Now, without further ado, I'd love to um, honor our guest here, Her Excellency Kesang, uh, Ambassador Kesang La. Please receive this. This is the auspicious uh, white kata, and uh, that's for you. And then we have a. This is a token of appreciation for your time and joining us tonight. Um, Emerus, can you come and receive this? Thank you. Thank you. Then, here's your book. Wow, thank you so much. And a very special Karma Diki, wishing you big success, bringing more fantastic movies and put it on your neck. So, one thing I wanted to bring up, he kept saying, first female director producer, first female ambassador, and he kept saying it's the first of March today. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us and do come back and join us again and again. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming.